Oh, what's up, guys? Um, I do apologize. As I'm editing uh, today's vlog for the uh, uh, for June 11th um, from June 10th, I uh, don't feel that great. <clears throat> I feel kind of sick. A little, a little more sick than usual. I think whatever I had on Monday, where I was laying down playing tug of war with Nani, has caught up to me, and I am going to annihilate it by staying in bed, drinking water, and uh, taking some some drugs, you know, some cold medicine, flu medicine, whatever this is, and uh, um, there will not be a vlog for the 12th covering um, June 11th. Uh, you guys know I would record something and put something out if I could, and I just don't feel... Uh, <sighs> I'm going to struggle just editing this video. <sighs> so, um, I do apologize. Uh, this is not what I what I said I was going to do, what I said I was going to do is make a video every day, and I can't do that today. Uh, I hope you understand. Thank you for your understanding, uh, and I will see you on Wednesday. <laughs> and there's a cop car siren. Perfect. <laughs> As usual, right? There's always some shit going on. Okay, sorry, again... Uh, thank you for your understanding, and I will see you on Wednesday. Don't forget about junk. Get crit. Good morning, team. It's not. That's not true. It's not the morning. It's five in the afternoon, evening time. Team Breaker. Get crit. Do you remember some time ago I mentioned that there's this thing that I do sometimes where my body just says, Hey, guess what, fuckface? You need to sleep for a long time. And I just hibernate? That happened again. That happens probably once every couple of months. Like, my day-to-day -day life isn't that I gotta wake up and be somewhere, so I don't set alarms all that often. And I fucking slept for like 13 hours. And I was like, dude, what the hell? Sucks, because now I woke up in the evening, and I, I need to wake up tomorrow morning. I have to look at the weather, because I think it's going to rain tomorrow, which is good, because I don't like, I don't like weed whacking. Destroys my lower back, because the weed whacker is not very long. It's good exercise, though, but it just, I, 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 I fear for my, like, groin muscles and my really, like, sort of very, very lower part of your back. I'm editing the vlog right now. I'm logged in. So here's the thing I said a couple days ago. If you see me logged into the game and you're on Widow PvP Exiles and you want an invite to the guild, then cool. We'll do that. Just send me a whisper and they'll get you an invite. It doesn't work like in Guild Wars 2 where you send somebody a uh, mail, in-game mail, and then I can invite you. You have to be online or else it gives me a, an error that says, that person doesn't exist. Because the server doesn't know that you exist because you're not logged into it. Which, in my opinion, is kind of a step backwards. They could have maybe went with the convenience of sending mail from anywhere without having to have mailboxes. But for some reason, I think they wanted to just sort of keep the mailbox system in there. Just because WoW players are like, mailboxes, I'm used to that. For me to even reply to your mail, I have to be at the mailbox. By the way, I sold my cred today. <laughs> I bought cred. Right? And then I sold it on the commodities exchange. I now have like more money than I'll ever need between level 20 and 50. Like I have four platinum, 13 gold or something like that. All of my stuff is basically taken care of for Esper. I am getting super jelly. There are so many freaking warriors running around with really cool swords and shit. But like I said, I gotta commit to playing Esper. If at the end of the day I can't fucking do the job and I'm just a terrible healer, fine. I can always re-roll something else I can try, um, or I can try Warrior or something like that. It's just from a YouTube perspective, I don't want to be the class that everybody else is, and I know a lot of people are excited. I get messages all the time, well, you're playing Esper? Holy shit, I've never seen anybody who wants to actually play that class. And I really do like the class, it's very, very cool, and I, I, I am going to commit to it until I absolutely for sure know that it's just not for me. But I'm not going to just scapegoat it and be like, oh, I'm telling people that now, and then when I get there, I'll just be like, it's not for me, so that I don't lose face or anything. No, like, I honestly will give the, the class a 100% pure Dante shot. But we're gonna take you outside. And then stuff. My computer is running a little slow, and I don't know why, so I'm just gonna clean it up. It's, uh, I was losing a lot of frames while trying to edit. 
even and that's pretty strange so hopefully we fix it guys lawnmower is running out of gas you need you need gas some kid or somebody put a rock on this ant hill you ever do that as a kid i used to do that thinking the, the, the ants could never move it they will they'll move it i've seen it happen dante's fucking advice I was uh, sent a whisper while I was in um, Wildstar for a little bit. And it was a long question that was very like difficult to understand, but in a nutshell, they were asking, in my opinion, what do I think it takes to be a good YouTuber, right? Well, I don't like using the word YouTuber. I like using the word like online entertainer because that's at, and that's at the base of what you do. If you're doing YouTube, that is what you're doing. Or if you're doing Vines or if you're doing any other thing like you're making music online or something like that, you're, you're, you're an entertainer and you happen to be doing it all online. And that's a very interesting question to me because I'm always thinking about how I can improve, what I can do to improve and what I've done in the past that's really gotten me to where I am now. And these are like mental assets that, that I either developed over time or these are things that are just natural about me that have helped me in the past, but that have helped me get to where I am right now. Some of those things would be the fact that I'm very confident in what I do. I'm not really, like the number one rule about doing anything online is stop addressing haters um, because you're just making them penetrate your armor by admitting that they're doing that because you're addressing them. So you have to have a thick skin, that's always important. I like my voice. Over the course of time, I've listened to myself enough to where I know what I sound like and I know how to sound professional and how to sound that you might not see a whole lot of that in the vlogs, but when I produce a video, I do try to have the audio quality be as best as it can be. One thing that I could do to improve is I, I've always wanted to take this area here, set up shop right here and put up like black foam absorption stuff here so that my, vo my voice will sound a lot better. Problem is there's too much ambience in this apartment to actually pull that stuff off without having to be interrupted very often. I'm interrupted often as it is, so I'm, I have a plan what I might do to make my audio quality better, but this would be the perfect spot. This is just, there's too much ambience coming from right there and coming from right there because doors are opening and closing and whatnot, so over here is the best spot for me. Problem is with the window, the sound can just come through the window, so I don't know if I can make like an enclosure. You're always constantly thinking about how can you improve and you're, 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 you're adopting ideas from other things that you see, like you get inspired by stuff. So one of the things that took me a while, a very long while to get over is that no one's ideas are brand new and unique to themselves. So if I make a video that sort of is, sounds a little similar to somebody else's video, even though I didn't like see that video and then say to myself, okay, rip them off. Cause I don't do that. But if I make a video and it happens to be very similar to another video and people leave comments saying who it is and they link it or something like that, at first I used to feel really terrible because I was like, oh, you idiot, you fucked it up. You should have known this. And the thing of it is, there's no way you're ever gonna fucking should have known a lot of things in life. So don't get mad. Don't take it, don't take it personally, take it professionally and just move on with it. Another thing that I think is a really good skill to have when you want to be an entertainer is you have to recognize patterns. So recognizing patterns is like very easy for gamers to do because all we do when we play video games is we just, we just reverse engineer everything that we see. Cause there's a game, you imagine any game you're thinking of, you start learning about how you play and then you start seeing problems and then take steps backwards to figure out how can I get around this obstacle or what do I have to do to, to, to fix this? Cause in essence, not every game is a puzzle game, but there are puzzles in everything. And gamers are really, really good with recognizing patterns. And when I see that there are patterns that successful people are doing, I try to adopt them and make them my own, but wrap them in my wrapping paper. For example, I was doing daily videos kind of like Toby Turner was. Um, not, ex not even kindly, exactly like how Toby Turner was. I was doing four videos a day on four different video games in 2011 shortly after I got my, uh, my new computer. And I did it because I wanted to challenge myself to do it. Cause I'm like, you know what? I bet you I can do it. And so I did, I did it for six months. My problem was I didn't have the ability to sort of be comfortable enough with myself at that time to really come into my own skin. 
So I started to slowly sound like Toby Turner. And it was very mature of me to recognize that that was what was happening because most people aren't going to be able to tell that they're taking up the moniker and the, uh, the accents, you know, the way that someone talks. They don't really notice that. Like when you move to another state and you start talking like y'all in the South or whatever, you just don't notice that. Or if you like live in Australia and you start talking like this, or if you're in England and you start talking like, you know, so you start acquiring things. These are like, this is uh, this is all psychological stuff for the human brain. This is just what the brain is designed to do. And I know not everybody does this, but it's a typical thing that most people do. So when thinking about like how you want to be funny, you want to take aspects of things that you're inspired by. And that's what I do. That's what, that's the advice that I would give. It's a very interesting thing to sort of look inward at myself and go, who is Dante and what makes Dante up? What makes Dante tick? Because it's not the easiest thing to answer because I'm very liquid. I'm in the moment a lot of the time. And I like that about myself. I do like that about myself. And it's good to recognize that that's how you are. So wouldn't you agree? I think you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you, j j jowls, the jowls, ooh. You think you are Vladimir Putin playing hockey over here? This ain't gonna be easy. So I apologize if this is a short video, but I have to get to bed because it's already seven o'clock and I normally have to be in, be in bed by like midnight, but since I slept for so long, there's factors and math and shit, I can probably be to bed by three o'clock and still be okay, but maybe not. So I really just gotta focus on getting what I need done in Wildstar tonight done and then going to bed. So thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow's video. Thanks for the support. Don't forget about junk, get crit!